lot going on today in this world. People out there attending to their keep, maintaining their, you know, assets. Um, they got grass to mow and kids to feed. Welcome to paradise. Today I want to talk about this specific thing for, to those, rather for those who, in, who are into this music space. The, this you want to get into this business um, and you want to fish for work by or sending food demos and or sending emails with links to your music. Your music will speak for itself once you basically handle all the ugly work. Uh, it gets dirty uh, as far as sound recordings and you'll be surprised how dirty it gets you know when you step into it. after making songs and productions and singles and jingles um you will get into the business where basically you start um just this, this discussing possible opportunities and you'll understand how you know fluid it gets if you want to be in the record business um you gotta be really mentally tough for starters but that don't happen without deep research um you know like you can't say, well, I'll sell you a beat for 50 bucks and they'll sell an album with your beat in it and make $1,500 profit on top of, you know, the $50 that you spent. Um, corporate will ruin you if you, if you don't handle your, um, you know, you, you, the, the characteristics of, you know, why are you viable, why do you sell and why should they put you on? It's just the way it is. And, you know, I have suffered enough times that, um, you know, that you can't, you know, uh, disregard the fact that you do have to, you know, wait it out a bit at the start um, and hoping that you don't get too stagnant by basically, you know, um, sifting through the day and shifting your focus to as far as waiting and putting things to implement in action. Um, so uh, I'm no stranger to the waiting type game. Uh, the time I spent waiting, um, I became so dull and in a, um inactive and unproductive and it wasn't the way to be and uh personally for me uh, i was also diagnosed with schizophrenia which is why i was you know forced to just you know um, seek food today seek it out seek god seek wisdom seek knowledge um before i can actually put anything to action and execute whatever uh, productions i needed to do for the date you know recording is one thing but um you know when your mindset and mind space is oh you know um conjured into some mess like uh basically will tell you that you know and that's unproductive and highly uh unadvisable so um you know seize the day the first few hours in the day pray um even if it's a five to ten second thank you to god saying yo hey, what's up thanks for having me today um it just, you change your attitude that way and then eventually your day becomes more progressive and progressive and progressive and you reach levels of if not bliss, then um, fulfillment, um, regardless of how small the task you accomplish is or the goal you've been waiting on to hit targets for so long that you know you begin to have a grateful attitude, an attitude, an attitude of gratitude. So um, don't be a, uh, ashamed of you know being unproductive. I'm just saying don't stay unproductive and don't stay stagnant. Um, seize the day and you'll find your trajectory will just keep on you know, you'll meet a standard of some way where you are happy with the levels you are and you reach a level of flow state.